Hi guys, my name is Prak Paul and welcome back in a new video of construction management using Maxsoft project. This video is specifically for the earned value analysis and with the help of this video, you will get to know how earned value analysis perform in Maxsoft project. Make sure that you are, you are going to watch this video till the end because this video is very specific at each and every portion. If you skip the video, you are not enabled to position to understand the earned value analysis. So, for earned value analysis, it is very essential to assign the baseline in the project. So here I have constructed one normal example of the schedule because this normal schedule helps you to understand this earned value analysis. So I have created this normal schedule and with respect to that, what you can do, you need to assign a baseline to the project. Make sure there should be a minimum, at least one baseline should be assigned to the project. Why? Because it is very essential to define the budgeted cost over there. Okay. And whatever actual cost you are going to provide, that is totally based on the site work that what is going to assign. Whether like if I consider the 100 rupees cost, which is a budgeted, but I incurred 110 rupees, it means 10 rupees is my extra cost that I have incurred. So that 110 rupees is nothing but the actual cost. But earned value is having very different definition. Earned value is a concept where we are looking for the cost with respect to the task progress. It is very important to understand the concept of the earned value analysis. Okay. So now you can see in the project management, when you are providing, when you are assigning or when you are calculating the earned value, you need to assign the baseline. After that, you need to update the project at particular date. Without updation, without any status date, you cannot perform the earned value analysis. For that, you need to go to the project, go to the status desk. I am providing this particular status date and update the project and click on OK. When you update the project, you get to know like what is a particular status as on date, how much cost you incurred. So this is what actual cost you incurred on a side. OK, so this is what exactly we define. Now, with respect to this, we need to go to the view column and click on a table to identify the earned value or you can also put the cost over here okay you can you can you can update the cost here also but this cost is actually calculating based upon the this schedule but you can change this value also but make sure you are not going to update the baseline cost okay because then and only then you can able to add, identify the variances the differences of the both the activity what is the cost variances so when you go to the table click on a more tables and just click on a earned value schedule indicator in schedule indicator you get to know what is the lag the schedule variances okay in cost indicator you will get to know the cost variances okay and earned value helps you to identify the overall performance so just go to the schedule variance i click okay now you can see the other template is open so plan value, first of all, it's reflectory. You can see if you go over here, just drag down your arrow, the overall information reflect here in pop up. If you want to get more information, just click F1. OK, or just press F1 to learn what is the budgeted cost BCWS. So you can see the planned value is also called as a PV, which is a budgeted cost of work schedule. It means whatever work you schedule for that, the cost you assign that is called as a budgeted cost. Okay, so it means at start we assign $960 for task A, $1080 for task 2, like this we define at a start. Now, earned value. Earned value is nothing but it is a budgeted cost of work performed. Contain a cumulative value of the percent complete, which is task, resource and assignment, okay, by multiplication of time phrase of baseline cost. So BCWP is actually calculated by you can see it is calculated by status date or today date. It is very essential because earned value is also called as a budgeted cost of work performed. Whatever work is performed till date, till status date, that particular uh, cost with their percentage, okay, the with their percentage, that particular value is called as a earned value, okay. The schedule variance, okay, is nothing but the earned value schedule variance, which is calculated by the earned value minus of the planned value, okay, which helps to identify the schedule variance. If you multiply by the 100, you will get the percentage schedule variance. 
and the schedule uh, performance index it shows the ratio of budgeted cost of work performed to the budgeted cost of work schedule okay this should be one it means you are okay your all schedule is on time your project is properly scheduled if this value is negative it means that your schedule is like you are you are not on the like you are not going your project is not on the way you are behind the project okay understand if your value is minus it means you are behind the project if it is zero it means you are lagging the project okay it the time overrun you can consider it this particular scenario is considered as a time overrun okay but if it is one it means you are on the track okay now it's uh, it is related to the schedule now just go to the cost variance for click on table click on more tables and click on the cost indicator click on apply now you can see here also you will get to the planned value which is what we discussed earlier which is a base cost what we planned here earned value is nothing but same the budgeted cost of work performed whatever work performed till the date based upon that the cost is incurred based upon the task resource and assignment with respect to the physical percent with respect to the actual percentage of the site that particular scenario is called as a earned value now cost variance is nothing but whatever the cost you incurred actual okay that i am going to minus from the bcwp so i am going to right click okay insert column and i am trying to acwp which is actual cost work performed okay so this actual cost work performed is nothing but it's a cost incurred for the work actual cost incurred for the work is provided by acwp so this earned value okay see this cost variance is identified by the bcwp minus actual cost work performed okay now if your this particular if this with this particular value is minus okay it means that your particular cost if this particular variance cpi okay is this particular uh, value if minus it means you your cost incurred more than what you budgeted okay so this is one of the important parameter okay if this cost cpi cost performance index is less than 1 okay or minus it means you incurred more value if it is more than that it means it means that you are on the track okay so now if you want to check all this cost variances index okay and that uh, on the on report you can click on a report just click on apply over here and you can see all the earned value so here you will get to know the planned value earned value actual cost okay schedule variance cost variance and here you can see the value as a estimate at completion this estimate at completion is identify like it is a contain the expected total cost of a task based upon the performance up to status date what is the expected total cost based upon the performance date okay this is what the budgeted and the differences you can identify okay if you go to the report click of on the cost and click on the earned value report okay you can see this particular status okay this is the eac this is the actual cost work performed and this is a budgeted cost work performed okay you can see like this so this is what your status right you can generate you can generate proper report okay if you go to the view over here just give me one minute if i if i tell you if you go to the gantt chart you go to the table here you go to the earned value okay and properly you can go to the uh, project okay uh sorry report visual reports okay click on the on on two links okay click on the assignment usage click here okay and click on view so you can see the proper curve like this earned value curve but still i have not not installed the proper package that's why i'm not able to see okay so thank you so much guys if you watch this video have a nice day bye bye